Okay, biggest mistakes most people make when they're choosing to do their personal training course or they're choosing to become a PT. And the, uh, the very first one there is the, uh, the course cost. So obviously we have different courses out there that, uh, that cost different amounts, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half thousand, I've even heard of $10,000, right? So I'm not saying that the $10,000 courses uh, are better. In fact, I can guarantee you they're not. But I also think that just by choosing a course when it's the cheapest option is probably not the best for most people. If people want a really great education with a really great outcome and having a great career, then you need to choose wisely. And with that normally comes a fair investment of the course. I can guarantee you we're not the exp most expensive one, right? However, we do have to pay our coaches really great money because they are great at what they do. So if you want a really great course, you have to pay great coaches. Therefore, you can expect to outlay just a little bit more money there. So if you were trying to just say, a thousand dollars if you did find a course which was just let's say three or three and a half thousand sure you've saved a thousand dollars but what's that cost you in the long run if some of these coaches were able to show you how to make an extra thirty dollars fifty dollars a hundred even two three hundred dollars a week more then you've made your money back in terms of what you think you're saving even within the first month let alone the first year let alone as I've got here it's maybe cost you forty thousand fifty thousand even a hundred thousand dollars in your personal training career because you went with just a cheaper option with such a short-term view rather than what can this course really do for me long term also think about the standard within the course if you've got other people in the course with you and they've also chosen the cheapest option I'm not sure that's attracting the, the highest quality standard people with a peak performance mindset of how am I going to be the very best personal trainer I could become because if you're around other people that really want to do well automatically your standards lift. So with great personal trainers comes a great network and great opportunities. And that's, uh, that's something else that I feel like a lot of people don't look at, which is once again, when we look at number three, what are you going to get moving forward? So what happens after your course? What kind of pathways has that education provider got in place for you? Uh, here we've, uh, we've got many per, uh, pathways which direct you straight into the industry. Uh, we have different discounts and all sorts of stuff with startups which, uh, which we, you can ask about uh, down the track there. Um, also, after your course, what's the process? Are you just left to your own device? Or potentially, do you have different programs like we have, which is our business program, our ongoing mentor programs, different functional courses, different uh, strength and conditioning courses, etc., to make sure that you're always being upskilled, to make sure that you're not only just an average personal trainer, but a great personal trainer, a trainer that's above the rest of the pack, and ongoing education to be able to keep you going in that direction. Uh, and lastly, what I think is really important, if I was looking into doing a course, what am I looking at? Well, do I get full qualifications? And there's a lot of providers out there that are being able to cut costs, once again, by not offering a full safe certificate three, for instance, which means that you probably won't be able to do group exercise. Now, that might be okay, even if your mindset's, well, I don't think I'll be doing group exercise in the future. Well, what about boot camps? And what about a bunch of other things that you know, you, if you were able to bring in, well, $20 a client, you've got 10 clients that come to this one particular boot camp once a week, that's $200 for your hour, and you're getting to make a really big difference to other people. So these are just a few things that I'd really um, get, I, I'd really ask you to take into consideration when you are choosing to do your PT course. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, if you've got any questions, please let us know. Chat to you soon.